I'm WSMV4 First Alert Meteorologist Dan Thomas, ready to help you program your new NOAA weather radio. This will just take us a few minutes and when we're done, you'll be ready to receive watches and warnings issued for your area. Before we get started, you want to take the power cord that came with the radio, plug it into the back, but also into the wall. In insert three AA batteries, those batteries will serve as a backup in case power in your home goes out. Raise the antenna as well. This is important to ensure you get a good signal and look at the side of the radio and ensure it is switched to on. If this is off, you will not receive weather alerts, so always keep this on. We are now ready to program our weather radio. The first prompt you will see is set language. Press select. If you want any language other than English, arrow up or down through the list to find what you're looking for. Once you've found it, press select again. Now I want English, so I'll go back up and press select. Now we will set location. Press select and you will be given the options of any, single, or multiple. Again, I'm just using the up and down buttons to go through the list. Any essentially means you'd be alerted for all counties in Middle Tennessee. Single means just one county and multiple, of course, more than one. So you're not driven crazy by alerts for all different parts of Middle Tennessee. I recommend you choose single, which would be your county. Once single is displayed, press select. You will see 01 empty. Press select again. Press select for USA. Then arrow up or down for our state in your county. I'm in Davidson County, so I will program this radio for that. You can actually hold down the arrow buttons to get there more quickly. Let's find Tennessee. I'm gonna arrow up because Tennessee is closer to the end of the alphabet than the beginning. Press select again. Now arrow down to your county. Again, I'm setting mine here for Davidson, and then I will press select. And there's Davidson, and there's select. Next, I will set the time by pressing select. I'll use the four arrow keys to adjust to the current time, and once I've finished doing that, I'll press select. And just to make things easy, oh, let's say it's 1.03 in the morning. I'll press select now. Our final step is to set the channel. If we don't use the right channel, it will be very staticky, but if we do, what we hear will be clear. Take a look at this table on the screen and make note of the radio frequency of the transmitter that is nearest you. Feel free to pause the video if you need to. Now, while set channel is displayed, hit select. Use the up or down arrows to cycle through the various frequencies until the one you noted is displayed. For Nashville, that is 162.550. Now I hit select. Once we've done that, our radio setup is done. So that's it. There you have it. Now I always recommend everyone have at least two ways to receive weather alerts. Now you have your program, NOAA Weather Radio. If you don't have our first alert weather app, please go to the App Store or Google Play now and search WSV4 Weather. From WSV4, I'm First Alert Meteorologist Dan Thomas.